Well, if you're thinking about doing some solar power, uh, or even some small panels, portable, whatever, or just a couple panels up on your shop roof or something, the very first thing you should buy is a roll of red electrical tape. Yeah, <laughs> let's find out why. <laughs> Yeah, so a roll of red electrical tape to me is really handy. Uh, I was an electrical engineer years ago when I was very young, <laughs> worked for a company, and so I have some experience with this sort of thing, but uh, this electrical tape will help you a lot. You're gonna get a panel in like this one here. This is a nice portable uh, solar panel that came in from All Powers, and it's a really nice panel, but all these panels all come in with, yep, black wires. So who's who? Well, you shouldn't, the, anyone that knows this industry is going to say, well, you shouldn't follow that up because obviously, and I've already marked it, I put a piece of red electrical tape here, right here, so I already know this is the positive coming off of that panel. Uh, it just makes, mentally or whatever, uh, it makes it a whole lot better. Okay, yeah, red, red roll of tape just to mark things because I was cutting and customizing a little bit and, you know, you sort of have to keep an eye on things. Anyway, uh, today what I wanted to do was, uh, do a test of an experiment. You know, take two 100 watt panels, wire them in series to a charging station, and then wire them in parallel to a charging station, and just see if there's a difference. And I can tell you right now, yeah, there was, and I'm, I'm kind of surprised at the readings we got, but it was interesting. So let's get to over, let's get outside, and let's check that out. Well, we're outside, and uh, it's, we're outside for a reason, we're gonna do solar, so. <laughs> I'm going to hook up two panels, and the two panels are 100 watt panels, that each of them, and we're going to use this power station from All Powers and the panels from All Powers, and we're going to just do a, a reading here and just see the difference. And what I'm after is I'm going to do a series wire and I'm going to do a parallel setup and just see if there's a difference in what's coming in for charge for power to the power station to recharge it and just see if there is a difference. Um, my, my general book would say that there shouldn't be any difference, it should be the same. This is excellent for testing something like this because it will run from 12 to 60 volts coming in, which means I can uh, series or parallel a number of panels to recharge the little uh, little guy right here. This is the smallest one that uh, has ever come in, I think, uh, from, from all powers. Hey, you know, you take what you get, right? <laughs> and uh, I've got the wiring here for the charge. I'm also going to put a load on this with a uh, industrial, little industrial cooling uh, fan that we're going to put on the load here side. That way this thing is working and running, uh, drawing power because that's the way we're going to, that's how we're going to be able to get a good reading. And then I'm going to put the two panels out in the sun and I guess the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll do the series first. The parallel is a little bit more sticky because we'll need the uh, We'll need these little Y connectors to tie the two panels together and bring them in to the uh, power station. So we'll do the series one first at 24 volt, which will give me a total of, should be 200 watts. And let's see what we actually get in. Let's find out, yeah. Okay, so we'll plug in the contractor fan. It's a uh, really hefty unit. And here, I'll just show it to you. Yeah. It's one of these jobs, you know, the contractors like to use them to, you know, run some fan cooling, uh, run some cooling in the uh, on the jobs and stuff. So I'm gonna put this way back behind the camera on the cord so that we don't have to listen to it. It's also windy out here, so I'll be using voice isolation. Okay, so the fan is way over there and it's pulling the uh, power station down. Oh good, it's pulling a good hundred and, pulling a good 125 watt. So it's pulling the station down and we're starting to lose our charge a little bit here. If we were 97, we're at 96, whatever. Uh, meantime, I'm going to wire up these two pole, uh, solar panels. We'll hook them up in a series, which will be 24 volt, to this charger back to the station. And then we'll take a reading to see the input and see how much is actually coming from those panels at this point. And then we'll do it the other way around. Shouldn't be a difference, or is there? Let's find out. Yeah, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but uh, right now the two panels, they're 100 watts each. They're wired in series and they're coming in, so we're coming in at 24 volt with the 100 watt panels, and we're showing 91 watts coming input from the two panels. And the output, of course, 122, 123 watt because I've got a load on here. 
with the fan running. And we're, so we're still losing, but we're losing a lot slower than we were before because we have, we have a little bit coming in 90 watt. We just dropped a little bit. The sun's coming up over. We'll probably uh, need to switch this out pretty quick so we can get the right readings because the sun angle is obviously constantly changing. So, But uh, we're going to go to uh, parallel wiring here in a minute. But at 90 watts from a pair of hundreds, uh, that should tell you right there that your limitation at a 100 watt panel is 100 watts and you're not going to get better. But at 90 watts coming from from the two panels, that's that's quite that's very efficient. Uh, yeah, that might throw some people off if they're new to solar. That's going to throw a lot of people off. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to wire these up with the Y cables, and we're going to go to parallel with the two, and then we'll see what the difference is. This, I'll just shut it off, and as soon as I come back, we'll be on parallel wiring. The two panels are now in parallel, so we're producing 12 volts only with a pair of 100 watt panels, which are no longer in series. And you can see the difference right here. We're about 78 watts because, uh, as I've said before, with uh, series wiring and higher voltages, you're going to get a little bit more, you're gonna squeak out more power. Uh, not a lot more, but a lot, you know, look at the difference here. We have 78 watts coming in now from those the same two panels. The sun angle hasn't changed that much, I hope not. Anyway, 77 watts. Yeah, it's the efficiency, and it has dropped off because we're using the not using series wiring. We're using parallel, and that's a difference. That is that is a notable difference. I think you should, uh, if you're into some small panels and portable camping, whatever. This is the sort of thing you want to take a look at and, and just think about with your system. This is by all powers, and I like it because it'll go up to 60 volts, which means I could series wire, you know. I could series wire four panels together, create 48 volts or something, actually five panels and create, you know, 60 volts and come in here and really get amazing efficiency and get quite a bit of power out of those panels. But they're going to be limited by the panels themselves, like 100 watts, you're, you know, 100 watt panels, 100 watt panel, can't change that. But look at the difference from 90 watts to 77 watts. So that's, you know, yeah, we've lost a little bit by going uh, with parallel wiring where we're at 12 volt instead of 24. Uh, it's just something I thought you guys might be interested to see. Uh, is, there is a difference, you know. So now we're gonna uh, recharge this back up. And again, if we want it charged up faster, then if I series wire those panels, I will recharge faster. I will have a faster recharge time. If I go back to my series wiring, I will actually get you know, faster recharge time and more watts coming in. Right now the water just, well, cloud just came over, so the wattage dropped right off. <laughs> oh, Mother Nature. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let's go in and wrap this up. Uh, right before I run back inside, I switched back to series wiring on the panels, and I've dropped down to about 40 minutes of recharge time, so I've saved 20 minutes, shaved 20 minutes off, and my input now has gone up. So this is all part of what I was talking about with uh, solar power and series to parallel wiring, the higher voltage is definitely going to make a difference, you know. So it's just something you should consider if you're thinking about some portables or, you know, setting up a very small system. Big systems we won't talk about today another time, but for small systems, you know, this is the sort of thing you might want to think about. So, so real quick, since I came back inside, it's dropped to 30 minutes. So it's basically cut the time in half. And really, what have I done? All I've done is change the wiring layout to series where I'm running 24 volt off a pair of 100 watt panels. But that's the difference. You know, I've cut the, my charge recharge time in half. So that's, you know, that's it's something that we're thinking about. I've had a lot of questions and a lot of uh, contact people with small systems or looking at small portables and things. And I have had so many people not understand that they, they just, like I said, they want to lean on that 12 volt thing and it's like, if you can go higher, I would go higher. Higher voltages is going to help the system work faster, better, you know, yeah, keep the wires cooler, the whole nine yards. Anyways, I got to get out of here. So uh, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools today. And please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. And I'm out of here and over and out.